Deep in the piney woods of East Texas, you'll find Arcadia, population 57. And down below these pine trees, something quite different is going on. Ooh, there's a little weakling over there. This is Greg Grant's place. He planted these loblolly pines some 25 years ago, and he's been killing them ever since. I'm not cutting it, I'm just stripping the bark. See this layer called the cambium that all the nutrients that the leaves produce comes down through this little layer right under the bark. So once you get rid of it, it's all gonna clog right here and the root system's gonna starve to death. So that's all it takes. Ooh. There he is. It is Melanerpes erythrocephalus, the red-headed woodpecker. I've been a woodpecker fan since birth, and of course you can't have woodpeckers unless you have dead trees. There's a whole host of species that take place and live because a tree dies. Well, dead trees are just as important in an ecosystem as a live tree. Greg's slowly working on thinning out the trees, burning off the undergrowth, and turning this pine plantation into a pine savanna. I try to girdle the weakest ones, the yeah. shortest ones. So one of Greg's favorite quotes is to let dead trees live. And I love that one. It basically says that there's still a whole lot of life in this dead tree. It's like a cafeteria in here. Yeah. Look at all that stuff. There will be several species of woodpeckers here using this. Occasionally I'll sit on the porch and I'll get to see a pileated swinging side to side, shucking off big plates of bark, and it's pretty darn amazing. When I was a kid, this was my grandparents' house. Prior to that, my great-great-grandparents lived here. I'm the fifth generation in the same house, the same property. My daddy taught me to enjoy the outdoors. Mama Jackie Grant was born here too, and back in the day, this was more like a farm than a forest. It was all farming land. We had cotton on it and watermelons on the terrace, and it had no trees on it. Uh, Greg came along and put the trees on it. We have been uh, called tree huggers by our own family, but uh, uh, he's the head tree hugger. <laughs> I'm just the second in command, but I like what he's doing with the trees. What he's doing is some hands-on forestry restoration. On this small acreage, another type of pine has a new sanctuary. Shelby County is mostly loblolly pine, and I wanted to show people what longleaf pine looked like, one of our historic species here. What once was the most extensive forest ecosystem in North America, the native longleaf pine was almost wiped out by the logging industry. So now Greg is trying to bring it back. I was familiar with thickets of pine forest to be harvested for pulpwood. In this case, I'm growing pines to be spaced out and to grow understory perennials and native grasses along with it. The fire did really well. Fellow conservationist Jeff Reed is here to check out the new forest after a recent controlled burn. The goal here, to have the longleaf and then promote a grassy herbaceous understory for species like monarch butterfly, a lot of the other butterfly, bumblebees. Yep, right there. He went to the thistle. The monarch butterfly went to the thistle. See the purple, the purple head? Woohoo! And this monarch's on a plant that everybody thinks of as a weed here and wants to spray with herbicide when it's a great pollinator plant for butterflies. Greg's the common man. He's a small landowner that likes to do stuff and restore native habitats and then show people how you can do it. We called Grandmother's Creek as a kid. I've been down here hundreds and hundreds of times in my life. He's got this property in his blood, and he's got that passion of this place flowing through his veins. It's easy to see why Greg so loves his home. It's a place of rebirth, restoration, and of course, relaxation. This is getaway place numero uno of all places on the entire planet. This is it, right here. I'm most proud of this place because I decided as a little boy that this is where I wanted to be. And so it's uh, extremely satisfying to know that you chose your playground as a child and it became your playground for life. 